Hello everyone, this is Henry Lee from blueheronarts.com. Today I'm going to review the process of uh, dry mounting with uh, silicone paper, a silicone uh, film. Uh, first of all, uh, why mounting? Uh, because the rice paper or mulberry paper has uh, uh, wrinkles uh, or even creases uh, with their uh, shipped from the manufacturer or uh, after painting or uh, um, some artists uh, store their painting, fold it, you know, you can actually uh, fold the, the, the uh, painting and send it to, to someone in an envelope. Um, but uh, uh, before you want to frame it, you need to flatten it. Um, so I won't flatten it uh, until uh, there's a request because uh, it's uh, you know easy to store. I just roll it up. You know, um, um, this one was uh, purchased by a client in. Asia, um, so I need to to uh, mount it for him because he get, he's going to frame it. Um, so for for that, I would use a uh, lightweight uh, backing paper, but not uh, so light as uh, like a uh, rice paper. This is a specific uh, paper made with cotton for screw mounting uh, is also good for, for framing, I think. The benefit of this is not too thick, so after mounting, you can still roll it. Uh, alternatively, you can use uh, mixed media paper, uh, which is about uh, 80 to 90 pounds. It, uh, this is probably like 80 pound paper. Um, if it's 140 pound, it might be difficult to roll it in a small tube, maybe a larger tube still, uh, will fit. Um, the, the other uh, design of this paper is the, the paper comes with uh, two sides. One is uh, uh, the shiny side, which is the back, and this front side it has two, so it will take the silicone paper and adhere to it. So if you use a uh, paper that's too smooth, the silicone, like the, the, the foam board, might be too smooth. So the silicone uh, may not attach to it firmly. Uh, so you want something that, that is a little rougher. So the rough side is the front. I just got a, a, a question the other day, uh, a, a uh, uh, artist who bought this, the uh, plain backing paper, uh, want to know which side is the front. So the, the side that the silicone uh, is attached on is is the rough side of course, and then the uh, the painting will go like this. So the rough side against the back of the original painting. Okay, that's the idea. Uh, some other utensils you want to prepare. Uh, first of all, this pad I've been using for more than. Uh, 12 years at least. <clears throat> this, this is made of a uh, um, denim cloth. You can use any cotton sheet, sheeting. Uh, some may use felt, but I found felt very difficult to get rid of if, I mean, if the silicone accidentally stick on the felt, it's not easy to rub it off. For this uh, denim cloth, you can rub it off very easily, so it's, there's no residual of silicone visible, at least. 
Okay, and you need a cutting board like this, self-healing cutting board, a roller, a roller uh, blade, which is uh, easier to cut the silicone because silicone is very stick, uh, kind of difficult to cut with a, a, a exact knife or exact knife or, or a regular uh, utility knife. You can still use, uh, try, you know, but uh, it's easier to have a roller blade like this to cut. So I cut, also cut the paper with this. Um, the backing paper should be a little larger and the silicone should be either ex uh, exact or slightly small or larger is fine, but uh, uh, not too large. You will see why, because it might uh, stick on the, uh, the protecting or the release paper. So I'll show you why. It's, it's better to cut exactly the same as the original. In this case, I have a little bit larger because it's easier to, to match. You know, if it's exact, you have to really see the edges. Um, sometimes it's not square. The, there's some, uh, so a little bit larger or smaller should be okay because the mat will cover it, you know, if it's smaller. So not so scientific, I think, but uh, you, you'll see why um, it's a good idea to cut the silicone with exactly the size or you know, as close as possible to the original. So the first thing I'm going to do is to put the silicone on top of the backing paper. The backing paper uh, with the rough side up and the silicone film facing down, the silicone film facing down, okay? So this set step is very easy, just straight iron. So the iron, I got a new iron. I, um, I want to share with you some information. When I select my iron, new iron, um, I, I would first of all check the button. I want the iron has less uh, holes in, on it. Some have has a lot of texture, you know, a lot of uh, uh, unevenness. So I want less holes. It, it's impossible to get an iron without this holes these days. Uh, so that's the best I can get. And uh, I also would like uh, auto shut off function. And there's a switch on this one. Um, but if, if I forgot to, to switch off, it will automatically shut off. So it, it's a piece of uh, mind uh, function that I must have. Okay, that's probably it. I won't use this for steam whatsoever, so there, there shouldn't be any water in it. Just keep it dry. If you have steamer, just make sure there's no remaining moisture accidentally come out from the, that would be disastrous. So um, I set it to silk which is the second from synthetic to silk. And you can also do wool. I think something somewhere between silk and the wool. If you have a dial, you can just go in between. Um, I would start from the center out in four directions, uh, eight directions if you like, like the British Back, you know, from center out. No water, just a straight iron. You don't have to really. Um, make it perfect. There might be a little bubble, that's okay, because we're going to iron again with the artwork. And then you peel it off. You can wait it cool a little bit because it tends to be more sticky if it's, as you can see the stickiness there. If it's cooled down a little bit, 
it will be easier. And you, you need to cut it off from corner diagonally like this. And save this sheet and make sure this this side um, facing the the painting. And this side is more anti-sticky. If you accidentally, like if you have a larger uh, area than the painting, it will be exposed to this uh, sheet. And if we have this side, um, it's, this uh, anti-sticky side, it, it doesn't matter, you can peel it off. If you put the other side, if you, if you do this, it might stick on this paper and you, you have to cut it off. So make sure the release side, the release paper, the same same direction, you know, same way you, you released it. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. This should be a little bit smoother, but uh, it, for, even for me, it's difficult. I can tell maybe from the curly, the curves, uh, like a curse done, yeah. Okay, so that's the... Next step is to uh, relax the paper, the, I mean the, the painting a little bit with the moist, with the water. Uh, although it is dry mounting, just like you iron uh, a sh your shirt, a cloth, or uh, you need a little moisture, but not uh, use steam, okay? Just uh, spray some water, but don't spray it in this area, or directly, you know, don't spray anything on the packing paper. Take it away from this table. You can put it on a piece of uh, felt, uh, or I just hold it uh, away from the table. I, I spray outside the table like this. Spray it outside this working area. Uh, you can do it uh, in the front, but uh, you can also do that. I think uh, it doesn't matter. Sometimes I do it on the back because the watercolor may smell. Um, if if it's stable, you can do it on the front. I just do it on the front. Because I just need a, you know, a little bit, not to the extent to make the ink smell. This ink is with uh, the uh, ink cake, so it's, it has built up on it. I, I'm pretty sure it would lose some if you spread too much water and you might stick on this uh, pr protection sheet. If you iron directly on this, you might stain your iron. So that's why we, put, we need to put this back. This is release paper with the smooth side originally against the, the film, not uh, facing down. So because there's some exposed film around, so I can see the the shining, shininess on this. So just make sure all the the painting is in, is all it stays within that silicone film laminate area. So I put this on, covering all the the art work from, I call it protecting sheets. If you can use, a, if you don't have this, you can use a, any drawing paper, use print, um, but it will stick on the edges if you have a larger area. So that's why if your silicone is exact or smaller, it's better. But if that happens, uh, don't be panicked. It, it won't, because it's, on the margin, it's not going to damage the painting, but it, it will have a little bit of trouble to remove it, to remove the, the covering sheet from, from that. But because this paper is anti-sticking, the release paper, so it will not really matter. Sometimes, you know, if you, your iron will get onto the uh, silicone film and you will have to clean it with a paper towel. Ok, 
takes one minute on average. So if you have a larger painting, there's a lot of labor. I won't mount the whole sheet, like a, the table size sheet often, because uh, you can do that with iron, but it's better to do it with a press machine. Uh, a professional shop has that. And they use the same film. So at home, I would do it up to 27 inch maybe. So I can handle it with iron. Okay, now let's uh, So because this paper is anti-sticking, it, it won't stick on the, the extra, extra um, silicon there. <laughs> okay, um, because the I think the water may be not enough, but there's some minor wrinkles there. Um, maybe not iron enough, but in any case, to keep working, I will spray a little more moisture. Uh, just take the paper away from the table vertically and spray like this, outside the table, okay? No moisture in, inside. Spot five. Shots. Very fine mist. So I spread and then keep iron again. If you have like a stains on the on the painting, it, you better change change this. But uh, if I just put it back to where it was, it might uh, it might not really create any unwanted stains. So I just put it back like this. And uh, I see wrinkles goes vertically, so my iron try to stretch horizontally a little bit. You just have to keep iron somehow. And with a little pressure, like this. Keep it leveled. Sometimes I, I, you know, I try to use like a brush. That would uh, not, it may work, but uh, I don't recommend that because uh, you might uh, create more wrinkles, I think. Just keep it leveled. My original stroke maybe goes more like this in the beginning, so now I'm doing this. Let's see. Just checking. Yeah, I think it's good enough. Sometimes um, there were the, you know, there's still these a little bit uh, minor wrinkles. They just create some uh, texture, you know, because this kind of delicate paper, uh, it shows the delicacy of the, the thinness of the paper. Even, you know, if this, this little minor wrinkles in the same direction like those water wave, so it really doesn't bother me at all. Okay. I think it's, it's 
acceptable. If you really uh, want 100%, uh, you can keep working on that, but you might uh, overwork, uh, you might burn it, but make sure you know it's uh, not, I, I was using only silk. So silk, maybe on the lower, lower uh, end of the, it, it may take longer time. So wool would uh, work faster. So it really depends on your, your working habit. Sometimes I work on this side because you can see um, some uh, unevenness here. But this side is not as important. If you, uh, you, can, you can try a little bit like the, because this is on the back, you don't have to use a piece of paper to protect. I won't use too much force, just use like heat. Sometimes it goes, the wrinkle goes back to the other side. So I just gently let the heat just work on this side. But make sure the, the protection sheet is on the back so they don't yeah that's still protected you won't stand your your pet okay let's take a look i think it's uh, near perfect i'm not a perfectionist but uh, you know, this is uh, good enough for me, to my eyes. You don't really see the wrinkles even on the, on the, uh, there's a little bit, but they just look like the water, same, like this uh, uh, rapids, same direction as that. That's, that's okay. This uh, painting is about uh, um, Tai Chi, the yin and yang. Um, the yin is water, the yang is the rock, and uh, two person wearing one black, one white, just like a Tai Chi symbol, um, practicing Tai Chi in the mountain and the river. So that's the idea. Ye Jian Wen Dao. Uh, quest for the Dao among rock and uh, stream. That's the title of it. It was originally a masterpiece of Ming Dynasty. I added the figure, I, I gave the title to Tai Chi. But it was not this title, so it, it's a little bit uh, twisted uh, from the original. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Until next time. Happy painting and mounting.